It begins. Click. Well now. Finally out. Uh, what? Oh my god, I'm using... They did that thing where you move your mouse with your controller. Uh, I, I, I have to scroll to the bottom, don't I? Yeah, I'm totally reading this. That's, that's the first seven parts of this playthrough are going to be me slowly reading this. There we go. Title's default spoken language is Japanese. Okay, good to know. I guess I'll stick with that. People will yell at me or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll let this one stay Japanese because of the very obvious Japanese setting and all that. That could be fun. So, guys, welcome to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. I'm probably slightly mispronouncing an emphasis in that word somewhere, and I probably never get it right. Uh, so, I have managed to stay completely blind on this, basically. Uh, I saw the initial teaser where they teased a weird device, which we, which at the time I don't think anyone even knew was his arm yet. I don't even know if Sekiro is the name of the character or if it means something else or what. Uh, all I know really is that there's a parry mechanic, which, and that it's not an RPG, or at least it doesn't have RPG progression systems like you don't level or something. And that's like, that's like it. I went radio silent immediately when I knew that I wanted to get the game and have preserved my blindness as much as possible. So I do not, I, I've avoided all spoilers. And so this will be, this will be neat. Just gotta invert that real quick or I'll get in trouble. What? Oh yeah, because it's trying to scale up. Let's not uh, overdo it though. I'm also recording. You're gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so if you're new here by the way, uh, I have over a thousand uh, Souls, uh, Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, Demon Souls, Bloodborne, and Souls-like games videos including The Surge, Neo, Salt and Sanctuary, Death's Gambit, Lords of the Fallen, uh, and we'll continue to cover them in the future. So if you find yourself jonesing for more content between the episodes of this series, maybe check out the front page of my profile, where there's just a whole curated section just for Dark Souls and Souls likes, which I don't necessarily think this game will be, but if you're here, it's because of From Software's main games are probably what's drawing your attention here in the first place, so that might be more stuff you want to check out, whether or not this game technically fits the genre or not. Oh, they were going to send me here anyway. Alright, let's get started. Auto hide partial. I'll just stick with the default and we'll see what happens. Turn them voices up. I'm going to immediately make a fool of myself now that I've talked about my background with Souls games. Tokyo No 
らいぬが心すらなくしたかおお、共に来るか飢えた狼をそして戦場で拾われた狼は修行の末熟達の忍びとなった忍びの掟きは忘れまいだ親の次に大事なものお前の心に刻むがよいあれが今日からお前のあるか命を閉じてもの、たとえ奪われるとも必ず取り戻すのだよいな狼よ That little gesture permanently scarred him on the first day they met. Ishin no Kunitori Kara, Niju Yonen. Ashina no Kuniwa, Shayo ni Ari. O Kami no Shinobiwa, Subeto Ushina Teita. Sodate no Gifumo, Mamoru Beki, Arujimo. I'm totally sitting here wanting to play Onimusha and Ninja Gaiden now. <laughs> you lied to me. Oh, equipment menu lets you change your stuff. There's five quick slots available to equip and switch out items as needed. Okay. Items currently in possession can be viewed through inventory menu. Right and click, right, yep. How did this happen? It says that it's inverted. No, it's not. <laughs> it's definitely not. What? This is me pre- It doesn't work? You have to manually switch it in the controller menu? What's going on here? Invert those ones? There we go. What? Weird. I had to invert the mouse controls in order to invert my controller. I don't know, I'm defaulting to controller for now. It's how I've played all the Dark Souls games. So we'll see if that seems like the best choice or not. Ornamental letter. A letter thrown into a well. Kuro's wolf, your destiny awaits you at the Moonview Tower. Escape from the well and find the tower bathed in moonlight. Even without a blade, you can reach it. Stay silent, stay vigilant. I'm a little torn on... Oh, can... <gasps> he can swim! This changes everything. I'm a little torn on the, on the language settings just because... 
I usually default to English just because the audience is English speaking and all that. Also, there's people who tend to look away a lot and rely on being able to just hear as they go. Alright, so that's definitely a hidden item up there. We're hinting at the level design we're familiar with, which is good because that's like my favorite part sometimes of the games. But, uh, when the game's steeped in Japanese culture and location and history, and the game opens with, the game defaults to Japanese, then I'm like, alright, I'll, I'll take a hint. <laughs> but this will go alongside Yakuza as, like, the only games I do with Japanese voice. It, so, look at this platforming. Oops. Boy, have things changed a lot since Demon's Souls, where you'd vaguely approach a ledge, then catapult off dramatically, not even having tried to start your jump yet, but the character, like, tried to die. But this is where she dropped down the letter. This does not look like it lets me get to where that item was. No, because that was back through that channel there, which is that way, which... Uh, I probably can't get to. Probably not. Yeah. Let's take a look around. That must be a much later thing. Unless... Was I able to... Okay. Let's check. Also, let's look for a running but Whoa, holding X is doing something. I'm sucking in souls, maybe? Ooh, You can jump out of the water. I still don't think I'll be able to jump that high, though. Yeah. That's... Whoa. There's a, there's a quick dash in the water. Alright, I'm mashing B. So if there is any kind of roll, it's not happening. Does, run, does holding B make me run faster? No. Left stick makes me crouch. So we have stealth. I mean, we, there's always going to be stealth, but there it is. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. If there is a way to untie that, I probably need a blade that I seemingly don't have. Oh yeah, D-pad brings up nothing. Hello. Hoggle wall hug. <laughs> Shimmy will always be kind of a funny word. Toward the edge of a wall peak. There's two guys over there. Just barely visible. Advance without being seen by crouching in bushes and moving under floors. You do not have a sword at the moment. Using st use stealth to avoid enemies and head to the Moonview Tower. If you're about to be seen, warning markers appear above enemies' heads. Okay, so we have so we have a stealth mission. <laughs> Wolf can slip into tight spaces such as beneath floors when crouched. Beneath floors. Oh, right there. I was expecting a raised floor, but I didn't spot it at first glance. そうじゃな。まだほんの子供というに囚われとは気の毒なことじゃ。ああ。銀一郎様も何かお考えがあるのだろうが。月見桜が今宵も月に照らされておる。巫女様はまた月明かりです。You can re eavesdrop. That's kind of funny. Alright, so we have a- we have a mandatory stealth intro tutorial. 
despite common uh, thoughts on the subject, From Software games actually do tend to have tutorials. Especially the first Dark Souls definitely opened up with one. It was a mean, punishing one, but it's de it was definitely... The Asylum's definitely designed as a tutorial. Well, they're giving me lots of in useful information here. So I need to go to- I need to reach a cliff to get into a hole in the wall. X near ledge- ledge hang. There we go. Do I have a grip meter? Like in, uh... Was it left behind or... Whatever it was called? And, uh... I think Metal Gear Solid 2? Had a grip meter? I think we could just get, get away with it by and large. Okay. Yeah! That was a little... <laughs> made me a little nervous. Alright. It's a really beautiful environment. Huh. There's so much snow coverage over there, but not over here. I wonder why that is. Makes me a little nervous that you don't default into crouching when you get off of wall climbing and stuff. All right, so you have to press two buttons. One to jump, one to ledge hang. So fast forward to the moment where I completely miss my chance to do that correctly later. Alright. So this is the hole in the wall I'm taking. Yep. There's the, and there's the person with the reading light. よく来てくれた。久しいな、狼よ。お迎えに参上いたしました。我がアルジ。うむ。表を上げよう。サビマル。そなたの刀だ。我が忍びよ。主従の役場に従い。命を賭し、我に仕えよ。Kusabi Maru, a katana given by Kuro, the divine heir, an heirloom of the Hirata family, a cadet branch descended from Ashiyana, or no Ashina, I just added extra shit. Once thought lost, it was, it has found its way back into the hands of the wolf. The name Kusabi Maru beseeches a shinobi's role is to kill, but even a shinobi must not forget mercy. A mantra the blade itself may manifest. Oka-mi-yo,傷を負っておるようだな。そうだ、そなたにこれを託そう。薬水の氷炭だ。これで傷を癒してくれ。a gourd filled with vitality, restoring medicine. Resting refills the gourd, made by an apprentice of the extraordinary doctor Dogen. Or Dogen? I don't know. Uh, though it is strange that the gourd's medicinal waters refill automatically, the seeds within may hold the secret to how it works. 
そなたの体、その後大事はないかその後とはあの世のこと、覚えておらぬのかはい。うん。いや、司祭は後にしよう。今は、このアシナの城を脱さねばならぬ。御意。堀沿いに進んだ橋の下に、城外への抜け穴がある。一心様より、そう聞いたことがある。まずは、その橋下の抜け穴を見つけてきてほしい。見つけたらそうだな。足の羽笛で合図をくれるか。ほら、昔、聞かせてくれたであろう。こう、ピーッとな。その音を頼りに、そなたのもとへ行こう。Using quick items, you can cycle through various quick items and use each according to the situation. For instance, If you have taken damage, you can recover vitality with the healing gourd. Oh. You use it with up. Okay. That's gonna take some practice to remember that change. Okay, it's not equipped by default. We've got the healing gourd. Uh, we've already read that. Homeward idol. A small, palm-sized wooden Buddha can be used repeatedly. Held by the wolf ever since he was saved by his father, its corners are rounded with use. This Buddha is used to return home. It will return the user to the last visited sculptor's, sculptor's idol, or the dilapidated temple. Okay. So the last bonfire or firelink shrine. <laughs> so this is the... Yeah, that's, so this is pretty standard. They have, they have the Estes Flask again, and they have the Dark Sign, which is being named like the Homeward Bone, and really this, this, the distinction between the two is meaningless, because one was a thing you had infinite uses of, but you lose everything that, on your character, your, all your souls. This is, uh, and then the Homeward Bone would, let, would return you home and not, take your, not make you lose all your stuff, but it was a consumable you had to use up each time and get more of. But if this game doesn't have a currency like that, then there's no punishment. So they might as well just give you infinite uses instead. All right. Kusabi Maru. Believe, yeah, we, we, this is the same description we had the first time around. Yeah. Still trying to keep up with item descriptions and all that. Okay. It's interesting to hear the dialogue be paced normally. In a, in a From Software game? Oh, that with long weird pauses and people talking like they're in a Silent Hill game. That's basically more or less what I'd compare it to, actually. Is everyone kind of speaks like Silent Hill characters in in their other the last five games. Wow, that's a... We're still playing a character that physics is the hell right through stuff. Pellet. Medicinal pellets that slowly restore vitality. A life gem, if you will. A secret uh, treatment passed down for generations in these lands. Records say it has been used in battles since times long gone, and lent to the famed resilience of Ashina warriors. A pill case full of these pellets would also serve as a battle charm. A battle charm. Are we talking about a secondary use? Number held one out of three, so I can have three of those capped, but I only have one so far. Does it say anywhere what, how much it does? No? Let's see, if I press start or select, can I get a... No. Okay. I was trying to see if I can press back to bring up the highlight specific things on the screen for tutorial information, because it says unseen aid down there, and a few other things are going on around the screen. I'm curious about a few of those. Okay, so let's use my... let's use the gourd. Since that's the directly intended thing. I have a, I have a backup pellet. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm incredibly sorry right now. I, I don't know what came over me. <laughs> He's such a stealthy shinobi. <laughs> Book tornado. Oh my god, look at them go. It's the rolling all over again but with just walking around. Or it's like in The Surge, where if you just vaguely ran past things five feet away, they would explode, and you're like, I don't understand what's wrong with my, what's wrong with everything around me. 
場外への抜け穴があるこのアシナの城を脱するため橋下の抜け穴を見つけてきてほしい見つけたら合図をくれアシの羽笛をそなたと私の不調としよう OK so I need to find a secret exit、oh. <laughs> Good job me Game's running perfectly so far. Admittedly, we haven't gotten in a fight or interacted with another character yet, basically. This is interesting. Every time a thing comes up, it brings up a mouse anyway, which I control with the right stick. I don't know if I can actually click on anything with it, though. It's just here. It's weird. Posture and death blows. A shinobi aims to break an opponent's posture. Attacking an enemy is one way to achieve this. When an enemy's posture breaks, he is vulnerable to a shinobi death blow. Right bumper attack after breaking posture. Right bumper is death. So just the normal attack button. Okay. Oh. What if I want to stealth and sneak up on him and, and murder the shit out of him? Yeah. I broke his posture and, and triggered a shinobi death blow. Mostly by stabbing him in the neck when he didn't look at me. Ow. Oh, A is, a is dodge. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Say goodbye to your posture, sir. Oh, the bodies don't ragdoll. Our movie, our character moves crazy fast. The trip. I guess I shouldn't expect a run button for that reason. All right, so A is jump, but it becomes a dodge the moment fights start, I think, or maybe probably the moment you're locked on. Actually, what was that? Oh, hug wall. Oh, is a good katana. Yeah, okay. I wonder if that's a mechanic. Like, take out the fire to, like, increase your stealth chances in the local area? Something to think about. Just thinking about things. Oh, this looks neat. Okay. Whoop. Nope, you didn't see me. <laughs> Deflection. Sometimes relentless attack is not enough to break an enemy's posture. Deflecting enemy attacks is another way to damage their posture. A master shinobi uses a combination of deflect and attacks to achieve swift victory. So I press left bumper the moment an attack lands. Ah. So it is a different button. I don't just press attack at them and time it right. Yeah. Oh, I did it. <laughs> did you see how well I did it when I almost died? <laughs> oh. Alright, we're gonna find out how good this heal over time effect is. Because I am whiffing it. So I need to go find secret path. By locking onto your target and keeping your enemy in front of you, you'll find it much easier to attack, deflect, and perform other combat actions. Alright, yeah, that's the... First thing I figured out. We're all set. Ooh, two at once is not a good idea. Generally speaking, I wonder if I can sneak up and take one of them out as an opener. And then the other one will be like, what was that? And then I kill him. What? Why? Me? There's someone there. I'm sorry. I'm in, uh, I entered perfect dark mode for some reason. It happens every day. You're going to be a dead boy. Got him. There was that was I used dropped on people in that room before. At the moment, there's no particular reason to kill people in this game, except for if they're in the between you and your objective, or between you and exploring, I guess. Because there's no... So far there has not been loot, and there has not been any currency that drops to incentivize the killing. I think I'm just gotta... Gotta kinda approach these guys up front and accept it. So just a thing to consider. Stealthing past people is likely often a valid option. Goodbye. Hey there. Oh, wow. I did a bad job. I tried to parry him. 
I really should- the easier enemies I should really just destroy manually and easily instead of trying to be sneaky and tricky about it. Hey, <laughs> I took out the scary one. Now you're fucked. Well, this is going. This is off to a good start. I'm only mostly dead, which admittedly I started as. I feel like it's disrespectful to a Japanese sword to be doing this, isn't it? <laughs> like just destroying everything around me. Oh. <gasps> Wait, was that an option? God, he can jump so high. Maybe if you crouched? Yeah, maybe I could have snuck up on him. Maybe I could have snuck past all of them by just hopping over. Except in this case, narratively, I shouldn't be sneaking past people. I should only be using sneak eating to kill them. Because if I sneak past people, then the kid won't be able to actually get through if he follows the signal. But look at the mobility here. Anything over here? <laughs> I'm not trusting it. I mean, if there was an item, I'd go for it. But I don't... <laughs> they might put an item on one of those at some point. I, that asset. That's what I'm guessing. Right. Counter Slash. A counter slash can be performed immediately after deflecting an attack. This allows you to deal posture damage without receiving... Without giving the enemy time to recover. So left bumper to deflect, then immediately attack. Leader Shir oh shit, uh, Shigenori Yama Yamaruchi. There we go. Hey there. Death blow against strong enemies. Some powerful opponents require multiple death blows to be killed. The number of death blows required to kill an enemy is shown by the red circular markers above their vitality bars. Each death blow removes one marker. Okay, so he's a big old dude. Okay. Uh, all right, I don't have a stamina meter. I can just keep going. Ow. Shit. <laughs> Was that one of my death blows? Because it felt like it. Got it. Uh, I've already read that. I guess I just, yeah, I, I just got one. Wow, they're expecting me to do a better job, uh, apparently, than I have been doing. If you consider the other pellet being optional. I'm probably taking more hits than I'm supposed to in the tutorial. Shit. Cool combat, though. And yeah, there's no stamina meter, so you can keep going and going. I reflexively wanted to retreat after hitting him a few times because I'm, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to I'm going to run out of stamina and he's going to destroy me. Fistful of ash. Ash gripped into a hardened clump. Throw down an enemy to temporarily distract them. In Ashina, the snow falls thick and thus the hearth runs thick with ash. Yeah, it's just a hand clump. It's even got finger fingerprints in it. Fistful of ash. You want to be a dick? This is how you be a dick. I'm guessing this doesn't open. It does not open from the side. There's a familiar message. Yep, here's that branch again. So it's quite climbable. Oh boy. <gasps> yeah! I did it. Didn't have to go all the way around. Oh. There was a collapse anyway. See an item way over there. Not a ledge you can stand on. Hello. I want to hear what you have to say. 
堀のどん詰まりに抜け穴があるじゃろあそこも見張りせよとの仰せじゃとうんなんとも限界なことじゃ戦が近いのかもしれんのこの橋の下 bottom of the moat under the bridge okay so there is a secret passage apparently I could just not fight those guys. That guy looks like he's not a guard. Wait, he doesn't look like he's human. Are you Kodoma? What are you? Uh, not a friend, apparently. Oh! I don't appreciate that. I mean, I approached you out of genuine curiosity, and then you tried to murder me, so that wasn't very nice. Wow. Alright. Wait, what's happening to his- whoa, what's happening to his body? It's like stretching. Huh. Ragdoll leads to a particular texture of just stretching like crazy right there. Ooh, there's an item over there. Is there anything over here? So there's where we started. I don't have any reason to go up right now. How is this kid gonna follow me though? Does he have tricks? What's his deal? Hey, more pellets. It gives you the full description every single time. Alright. Yeah, I should probably use that before I get obliterated. Weird. This is down to the wire, health-wise. It looks like there's multiple paths to this area, judging by the stuff I'm looking at around here. Or maybe I just have to loop around that way? Regardless. We're low enough, I would figure we could just hop down, right? Oh wait, is this the secret passage? I can call him with the reed whistle, so that's the escape. So I could have dropped straight down, but I met, with, I met with that other creature instead. Can I climb up here? These are not grabbable ledges. Alright. So I think we're supposed to keep going. Yeah, that's subtle and no one will notice it. Okami, you found me. さあ、参ろう。ギョイ。血の定めから逃れることしかできぬとはな。この城を出て、いずこへ参ろうか。まずは足名の国を離れるか。あるいは どこかに身を隠すか。そなたはどう思う？行為のままに。行為か。そなたは変わらぬな。ほう。いや、懐かしいと思うてな。さあ、参ろう。行こう。ここを抜ければ足名の場外だ。Let's try not to die. I imagine this is a bit different from the rest of the game. So I wonder what the what this game's cur I wonder what this part of the game's version of a checkpoint is. Like I imagine that if I die somehow, I start over at the beginning of that hallway and not the whole level. Cuz we like changed zones entirely.
久しいな巫女よ叔父上の墓前以来か源一郎殿私は…すまぬお任せを邪魔立てするか巫女の忍びを I feel like this can end very poorly for me Oh boy Oh that does not Okay that doesn't really work as a dash That is, def that is definitely just a jump Okay never mind Oh I'm in deep yeah This seems like I'm meant to lose fight I did not put up any kind of fight. Oh no. Everyone's gonna see. And there it is, Shinobi Prosthetic, an artificial arm of a shinobi, passed down by the sculptor. A replica of a human arm fitted with a variety of mechanisms, apparently designed with modification in mind. While it bears a number of cuts, and is stained thick with blood and oil, it has been impeccably maintained. Well now. So the true game begins, huh? So we need to get that kid back. Maybe it's the first mission, or maybe it's the entire story. I don't know. But so it begins. Uh, if I were to take a guess, it might be possible to win that fight. And if so, you might get a special reward, but I imagine that your arm still gets cut off and you still ultimately lose in the story, because they that's not uncommon. Uh, Demon Souls, Dark Souls, and Bloodborne, only Dark Souls 1, not 2 and 3, all had fights you were expected to lose the first time around. Uh, in Demon Souls, especially, because it was straight up a boss fight that would practically one-shot you, but they're all possible to win. Technically, and you get a special reward for doing it. When I say meant to lose, I mean in Dark Souls 1 you had to run away from that boss the first time and then come back with a weapon. But you could technically fight it with it with what you started with, which is a pain in the ass, but you get a special reward. Uh, and in, in, in Bloodborne I count that as being the first enemy you fight, being something you're just not ready to deal with. Uh, and then this happens where you show up somewhere else and they set you up to actually do the game. 
Well, alrighty then. This is gonna be fun. Look forward to his daily videos. Sekiro, I'm happy. It's out. <laughs>